Hello everybody and welcome on board this uh, Fisher Freewood for a look around her interior with me to give you an idea of where things are, her layout etc. So as you can see I'm standing in the saloon looking backwards towards the companionway. Now there is a tour of the uh, cockpit and the outside elsewhere in the advert but for now we're going to concentrate down here. Lovely easy to get down companionway straight down onto a moulded set of stairs. Now these just latch either side and pull this way to give you access to the Lombardini engine but if you want to see the top of it or the back of it and the stern gear etc this cover here just lifts up and allows access there too which is really great bit of a, a stowage binnacle underneath you can see we've got the engine start stop there and taco warnings etc nice and easy to get at and we've got a couple of handles either side to hang on to as well first thing to notice down here is just how light bright and airy it is look at how high the uh the deck head is it's really high we've got massive windows here windows looking forward as well because uh, we've got a really really high coach roof relative to the deck so that's great nice light interior uh, headlining like wood etc feeling great in here now we're uh, looking around we'll start on the starboard side you can see we've got a, a sliding out nav area here we've got a tv on here at the moment we've got the electrical pa electrical panel and the uh, vhf dsc outboard there a couple of uh, 240 volt sockets and we have a berth there which uh, there's plenty of room for your legs under there we just slide this away and in we go there's your pilot berth no worries battery power monitor are down there the uh, batteries, uh, two batteries are under here, and they have, we have a Victron battery charger too, and also the, uh, the main isolator there. Moving forward, you can see we've got the galley here. So uh, nice little unit, fore and aft, big cupboard here, smaller cupboard here, a cooker and a twin uh, hob unit with a grill underneath. Probably needs a little bit of a clean, but uh, doesn't look that old to me, actually. And we've got a nice deep sink here with plenty of work surface and uh, stowages behind there also. And of course, whilst you're doing your washing up, great view of the boat next door, or if you're at sea, great view of the waves. Really nice floor on this boat. It all feels nice. It just needs that to uh, clean through. There's a lot of clutter on here at the moment, which we'll probably get rid of. But uh, generally speaking, underneath all that, we've got a really lovely boat and we've known this boat for a long time and she is a uh, she is very pretty very pretty thing indeed moving forward you can see we've got a little lobby in this area i'll just close the door to the forward cabin for a moment we've got a big locker here where you can see we've got uh, a hanging locker for uh, life jackets etc a cupboard above as well close the door on that if i open this compartment here you can see we've got a bijou heads compartment there we go Sorry, we've got the cleaning bucket on top of the head there, but the head is uh, sitting facing to starboard. Sink uh, in this in the in the forward port forward corner there, and an opening window and a mirror there too. Plenty of room to do what you need to do in there, and it is a manual head. And then if you just move forward through this door, you can see we've got a decent sized forward cabin. Bit of a stoop to go through because the uh, the coach roof comes down here and goes forwards, but that's okay. And uh, once we get in, we can see we've got uh, well, we can't really see because of this bed but there is quite a large berth here with storage underneath too and there you can see the uh this is the uh, i'm not sure which sail this is because we've got the foresail bent on we've got the mainsail bent on so that may well be a spare but if you look closely it doesn't look in too bad nick either you can see we've got uh, port and starboard opening windows which is rather nice and opening hatch above us and again nice and light and bright and airy we just need to get rid of all this clutter get it out of the way and open this boat so that we can see her for what she is but other than that she is a, a very pleasant place to be very big windows, nice and light in here, and I'm feeling deep and safe within this cosseted interior in this very sturdy little vessel. So this is Tim from Boats Your Drop Brokers, just taking you for a quick tour around this little boat. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon. Take care.